Hello. We thought we would explain the dynamics of the coronavirus in a way that doesn't involve complicated differential equations. The simplest way that we found to think about this is to imagine six vessels full of liquid. You can see the largest one on the left is the vessel which represents the uninfected people, and that one has a tap on it. That one has a pipe which leads into the asymptomatic vessel, which in turn leads into the mild vessel for people with mild symptoms, then the severe vessel, and then ultimately into the vessel for dead people. But the good news is that actually most of the liquid will not flow along that path. It will flow straight down into the recovered vessel at the bottom, and about 1% of people will end up dead. So let's watch what actually happens. And as you can see, first of all, nobody seems to be dying as the early vessels fill up. And then you get a, a big flow. And you notice that towards the end, herd immunity kicks in. There just aren't enough uninfected people left for the infected ones to infect. And so we get a small residue of uninfected people. We have almost everybody in the recovered vessel. But unfortunately, we do have 1% who've ended up in the dead vessel. Now what happens if we do the same thing, but we use that tap deliberately by introducing a lockdown? So we start as before, and you can see now on day 25 the lockdown happens. And let's assume it's a perfect lockdown. There are simply no new infections after that. But there are still a lot of people in the system. And you can see, first of all, the number in the asymptomatic vessel declines, then the number in the mild vessel. And then finally, the vessel where the people with the severe symptoms go empties out. And by the time we finished, only about a quarter as many people have died as last time. So you can see that in the long run, using that tap has had the biggest impact. The long-term dynamics of the virus are determined by, by the use of that tap. But the short-term dynamics are determined by what's left in the system. So it absolutely was not the case that the instant we imposed the lockdown, people stopped dying. We still had to wait for all the people who were in the system at the time of lockdown to work their way mainly through into the recovered vessel, but still some into the dead vessel. And so what that means is that even an effective lockdown won't show up immediately in the death rates.